Given that there's a whole country of literal treasure awaiting you in Assassin's Creed Origins, it makes sense that there's some wondrous secrets buried under the sand. One of these is the Isu Armour, a seriously impressive Destiny-style set of gear that gives Bayek all the stylings of the first civilization, better known as those who came before. Here's how you get it. Sadly, this isn't just a case of waltzing into a tomb and opening a chest. You're going to have to complete all of the stone circles that are scattered across the world before the next part of the challenge will even appear. To start the stone circle process, you'll need to activate the Bayex Promise quest in Siwa, where you'll start the stargazing process. To do this, if you haven't already, go to the quest Bayex Promise in Siwa, which should appear when you clamber up your first sink point. You'll then need to find the remaining 11 stone circles scattered across every region of ancient Egypt. There are 12 in total and hopefully you've already got a few. Here's where you'll find each one on the map. Don't worry, we've also got a full guide for these locations. Once you've got all 12, you want to head back to Siwa to complete the quest and then fast travel to Giza. Now here's where the fun starts. You want to go around the back of the Great Sphinx Crouch through the hole in the back, and then journey down into the tomb. Previously, you might have discovered a map of Egypt, you'll see a huge door erupt. Head through the door, and then down the stairs, and you'll find one of the six ancient mechanisms that are scattered across Egypt. Unlike the others, which you might have found in tombs, which require five silica, this one requires 50. When it comes to finding silica, you'll want to keep your eyes peeled for bright gold fragments scattered in tombs. You'll find them especially around the tombs with ancient mechanisms inside. I'm not going to do a full walkthrough here, but you'll find the most silica in the Golden Tomb in the Isolated Desert with 13, Nomark's Tomb in the Black Desert, which also has 13, the Sethanat Tomb in the Deshret Desert with 15, and the Tomb of Khufu in Giza with 12, and the Tomb of Smenkari in Horus Nome with 12. Once you've got enough silica from around Egypt, head back to the Great Sphinx and feed all 50 into the giant mechanism. You'll get a neat spoilerific story message and your super shiny armour. While it says it delivers the power of the first sieve, all the Isu armour actually does is make you look exceptionally cool, and make sure you never miss Bayek in a tomb ever again with all those light strips. So that's how you get the armour of Isu in Assassin's Creed Origins. If you need help with anything else, let us know in the comments below and we'll hunt it down.